It's a story that hit home for the Spectrum Health Butterworth team. Emergency medicine resident physician Dr. David Burkhardt has been on the front lines fighting COVID-19 for months. And now, a turn he'd hoped he'd never get. Burkhardt has COVID-19, and days after his diagnosis, he returned here, and not for work. I know so much about everything that's happened with COVID, and I've been living it every day, and to be on the other side of the person checking in with it was a very surreal experience. I just couldn't breathe. I was working a little bit harder and um, spent the next two days kind of just laid up in bed, not really able to move around. I live in a one bedroom apartment and uh, couldn't walk around, couldn't get up and make a sandwich. At 28 years old, Dr. Burkhardt is a runner. He plays volleyball and leads an active and healthy life. He says he has nothing that would have made him think that he'd be at high risk for a nasty bout with the virus. Nonetheless, he found himself, like too many others, isolated from family in a hospital room, hoping to make it out okay. Were you scared? Yeah. Yeah, I was, um, I was a little scared when I got there, and then once I got admitted and placed on oxygen, it kind of all hit me that I looked just like a lot of the patients I had seen, and actually living that experience um, has been so altering to, I think, the way that I'll practice when I'm back in the ER. His experience prompted him to author a post that has now been shared more than 4,000 times on Facebook, a raw and heartfelt reality check. I wanted the chance to um, talk to people a little bit more about um, the importance of the social distancing and masks and just taking this seriously and um, opening up a little bit more about what I went through. Dr. Burkhardt is a youth minister with Young Life. He shared this photo with those he works with, an image that brought on an emotional reaction from the young people he serves. What would your message be to the unfortunate number of people who still think this virus is being overblown, it's not a big deal, it's just like the flu, uh, you've heard all the lines? Think about the healthcare workers that are facing this. Think about the families that are experiencing this. Um, it's heartbreaking to see watching people you know, say goodbye to their loved ones. A lot of these cases have grim outcomes and knowing that, you know, this could be the last time that they're talking to each other and being able to experience that with the patient is so hard, but like th those are real things that we have to see every time we go to work. At Spectrum Health this past weekend, an unfortunate new record. The number of patients admitted in our hospitals with COVID-19 crossed 300 for the first time. Dr. Burkhardt knows his work is needed desperately. It kills me that like the rest of my colleagues are continuing to show up to work every day and I am here. He's hoping his message helps change the course. It takes all of us taking it seriously for us to bring the numbers down and I think we are 100% capable of doing that. Slowing the surge will take a community response, a commitment to wearing a mask, maintaining a distance from those not in your household, and washing your hands is key. We are all in this together.